banquet. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the fourth annual Swiss Asset Management Day. My name is Adrian Schob. I'm the moderator of today's conference. As we have many guests from abroad today as well, a very warm welcome to Switzerland. You know, Switzerland, the country famous for beautiful mountains, chocolates, cheese, watches, private banking, and asset management. In order to find out, we need to look at the definition of Swiss asset management first. We need to find out what Swiss asset management stands for. I'd like to do that by using an analogy, by using an analogy from everyday life. You all know the restaurant business example. As you know, the restaurant business model is made up of different roles, of different roles that interact to deliver a customer experience. And this experience is obviously the meal and everything that comes along with it. So let's look at those roles a bit closer. I'd like to introduce you to a couple of typical roles that exist within a restaurant. First role, obviously very important also for me personally, the one of a nice and a friendly, mostly good looking waitresses. They provide the menu, they help the client choose, they take the order and finally they deliver the meal chosen. If it happens that you go to the same restaurant I've just mentioned we have many guests from abroad. Probably you go to the same restaurant every time before the Swiss Asset Management Day. The waiter, the waitress might know you already a bit better, uh, meaning that she knows more about your seating preference, about what to say to make you laugh, and whatever else to make you stay even better and more memorable. So personal services, tailor-made services, very important in the context of waiters and waitresses within a restaurant. Next, another important role, the one of a sommelier, exists in many restaurants, that's a French word, a person who complements the waiter's service with specific knowledge about wine to ensure a holistic customer experience. Next role, very important, probably the most important, the one of a chef. Chef de cuisine, he's responsible for the menu and the receipts. This is the actual value proposition of the restaurant. You know, ladies and gentlemen, chefs can be very creative in order to develop new trends, new food styles. Many trends are developing worldwide, so-called slow food, vegetarian food, and even in the vegan food area, I just looked up the definition, you need to wait until a fruit dies from itself. Still in that sector, you can be very creative and develop new food styles and trends. So innovation, very important in the topic of, uh, in the context of a chef. Last but not least, also important kitchen staff, uh, preparing the meal ordered by the customer. So, ladies and gentlemen, if we now compare the restaurant business model with the financial services industry, the private banker takes the typical role of the waiter or the waitress. It seems to be quite an advanced common understanding in Swiss financial market what the role of the private banker is. However, on the other hand side, if we try to find out what the role of the asset manager is or should be, we cannot say that at first glance. So let me once again, run through the roles I've just presented again to find out where we might place the asset manager. Is it actually the sommelier that gives specific consulting services on specific topics, for example, asset liability management? So the question is, can an asset manager also take certain consulting functions in niche areas, as I've just mentioned, asset liability management. There's not a clear understanding of that in the Swiss financial market. Next, we might ask the question, or we can ask the question, should it be the experienced chef de cuisine ensuring an innovative menu with great tasting food that is actually investment, uh, developing new investment products to satisfy the private banker's needs for a continuous flow of specialties of the day, so the strong connections with the private banker to bring new products on the market, maybe in, in, in a niche area, that's another question. It's about innovation, developing new products. Should it be the kitchen staff? Should the asset manager be the kitchen staff who works in the background, focusing on delivering great tasting food that is investment performance? So the question is, is asset manager meant about performance, mainly about performance uh, to develop a globally recognized brand for Switzerland? We can also ask the question whether asset management is the kitchen 
of self-serving restaurants delivering low-cost, high-volume, simple investment products. So is it about cost, about the fast processes, administration, or even more holistically, we can ask the question, is asset management the restaurant by itself? So defining asset management by serving a specific client segment, let's say the institutional client segment. So we heard different keywords that might be valid in terms uh, or in the context of defining Swiss asset management, customer segments, performance, innovation, fast processes or administration, experience or cost. So these are all words that might be used to define the role of the asset manager to find out where we might develop a globally recognized brand. I think none of these options is per se the correct or the right way. The only thing that is for sure very important, there needs to be a strategy. How can you develop a globally recognized brand without having a strategy, common strategy, the common understanding of where we want to go with Swiss asset management? I mean, to come back to the restaurant business example for the last time, if the restaurant has no strategy, customers will not come by. So the same happens in uh, that case. Actually, so the key question is, ladies and gentlemen, What's the, what's the strategy in order to attract more assets under management and to develop a globally recognized brand? What to do that we can open one of the next Swiss asset management days by saying, welcome to Switzerland, the country, Switzerland, the country famous for beautiful mountains, chocolates, private banking and asset management. What to do in order to find out what the strategy behind Swiss asset management should be? Or might be, it's good to look at some key trends in asset management and what a coincidence that, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we are here for today. Once again, welcome to the fourth Swiss Asset Management Day with the topic key trends in asset management. We are going to start very soon with our first speeches. Let me quickly switch from asset management to event management. You have seen us today. We have a fully packed progr uh, program. Just one information, the presentation after lunch break, you have seen we'll go into politics as well at 1.15 p.m. will be held in German. That's bad news for all non-German speakers, or it could obviously also be good news. You can make some more friends during the lunch break, stay outside a bit longer, so just that you know, the presentation after lunch break will be held in German. Another information I got to know that the host of today's conference, that's Kurt Zibung, you know, the chairman of the Department for Economic Affairs, Canton of Schweiz, is delayed due to an important government meeting. He will be joining us after the lunch break. So from my side, or also on behalf of him, a very welcome to today's conference. As I said, he will be joining us later. That means we are 10 minutes ahead of schedule or not. We started a bit uh, uh, with a delay, so we made it up, very good pace. We are going to start now with our first uh, presentation by Dr. Andreas Schlatter. He's a group managing a direct and head global asset management in Switzerland and head global distribution at UBS. Swiss asset management from vision to internationally recognized brands. That's the topic Dr. Schlatter is going to focus on during the next 20 minutes. When I checked his CV, I found out that he also holds a PhD in mathematics. In that context, I'm wondering what his proposal for an internationally recognized brand will be. Is it mainly about numbers, meaning performance or cost, or is it th something completely different? That's what we are going to find out very soon. Mr. Schlatter, thank you for joining us today. I'll hand over to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.